I've got some mail. It's from Pistol Pete. Actually got two letters. And he sent a donation because he wants a Nocta Macro Legend review. I cannot wait to get that. I can't wait to get a review going on that detector. Thank you so much for your generosity, Pistol Pete. Take this with a grain of salt. This is on the clock. Then again, if you take too many grains of salt, you will eventually get high blood pressure. Um, I love it. It's gotten me a lot of gold. But the thing is, in terms of uh, finding silver and going through iron, I've really struggled with that. There is more to it than that. And I'm dying to go off on an ADHD story. Well, hello. This is Merrill interrupting myself from the future. You might have seen my post yesterday. Somebody threw out my SanDisk cards by accident. It's an accident, but we, we just lost a few months of videos that we'll have to reshoot. I've made my peace with it. We move on. But uh, this is becoming a very interesting and important angle to this video, and I, I know some of you have asked me to rate the Coil Tech Coil. I got into a major slump with it, and I don't think that it was all the coil's fault. I do prefer the 15-inch. If, if that's all you want to hear, you know, then that's fine. But look at this. Look at how this has eaten down. This was the shaft that I'm detecting with in this video. When there's a wobble, you're going to give up depth. You're giving up stability. Um, think about it. If you're measuring something and it's wobbling, you're not going to get a perfect, accurate measure. So I replaced this. I have a new shaft right now. Um, but this was part of the problem, and the weight of that coil definitely exacerbated the problem. And I'm actually detecting without my headphones today so that you could hear what I'm going through. And hopefully it proves me wrong. Don't worry, it's going to be more than just me struggling with the coil. We pulled some great stuff today. And we got Jeff over here. My hand to God. Jeff has the hand of God also. We got tw great minds think alike. Double hand of God. We got both of God's hands. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Go. Whatever it is, we're going to get it. Yeah. And go. <laughs> Anything four arrows down here, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna dig. I'm hearing no iron on this one around. The pinpoint makes it sound like a larger object. I seem to have it centered more. All right, so let's dig here. Well, okay, we got something interesting right away that I'm not sure what it is. It's a booty. You may find some clad over here too, Merrill. Jeff, this looks like a booty. You thought I was kidding. This looks just like a booty. A booty? <laughs> a booty. Yeah, this is like two live crew. I just found two live crew. This is like somewhere between grills and a booty. But I, I can't quite fit this on my teeth. What the hell is that? What? I found a booty. That is cool. I, I don't mean, know what it is. But... As, as metal detectorists, we're always looking for booty. But I actually just found a booty. <laughs> it's a booty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess, you know, they, everyone's always appreciated a good booty. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so ID it's Geniuses, old, it's a very old booty. Mm -hmm. uh, and still very full. Mm -hmm. So, um, ID Geniuses, if you could tell me what this, what is the meaning of this booty, that would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. As for the iron and stuff like that, that was, uh, it was a signal that was kind of high up. So, you know, closer to the surface. So, uh, we'll keep going with the coil tech. All right, listen to this. Uh, 
you hear iron. Let me turn this up for you. Not a localized pinpoint. In this video, I'm still using the 600, but one of the things that uh, Jeff and Phil have advised is they know that an object is not iron if it has a localized pinpoint. It's got a lower probability of being iron if when you hit the pinpoint button, you can get a localized uh, sound. Now, that can go out the window the deeper that the target is. Well, if we go this far, we have to dig it. I'm going to guess this is iron. I called it correctly. It's iron. Okay, here's something that sounds a little small. Look at what's happening in the plug, though. That's all iron. I'll be back when I get it. This is actually possibly a piece of leather or something with a nail through it and here's your iron uh, we'll check to see uh you know if there's a signal still i don't think that there is but let's uh, give that a quick swing nothing so there's a case you didn't hear any iron whatsoever but it was iron we have entered the super deep zone Easily 11 inches down. Big piece of iron. You have to look really closely to see the wobble in the shaft. Uh, sometimes you can see the wire get a little bit more taut as the, you know, the coil goes up and down. It wasn't entirely floppy, but it was floppy enough that uh, with the weight of that coil, which is definitely heavier than the 15-inch MineLab coil, um, it would get less results the other thing that i noticed it, it was a phenomenon specific to this coil i'm so used to pushing my coil into the ground which i know is a no-no but i've always done that this one you want to be slightly up off the ground but if you have a wobble in the coil that's a conflict of interest all right might have a good one Seventeen, fifteen, all the way up into the thirties. Interesting piece of metal. It is a diamond shape. Ah. Cool, but not what we're here for. All right, so the problem with using a ginormous coil is it gets everything. Mr. Jeff went silver. Mr. Silver. Mr. Silver. Hello, Mr. Silver. 1943 silver core. Go ship, man. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Four arrows down. Sixteen seventy. It's a no-brainer because all I ever wanted was a triangle. No-brainer here. See that? Strong and localized. As I'm digging, I'm digging into rocks though. That's the problem. That tells me this soil was altered. But we shall see. Yeah, and it's soft on the top. Came up in the plug. Oh, and I think I see it. Yep. <laughs> Great. And look at this, this is a telltale sign. This is altered dirt, let's move. Gotta dig this. Metal shards. Okay, like in this one.
We just got something good. We just got something good. We just got... Oh! Got something! What is this? What are you? This is a token. Eighteen ninety-seven. You get past that fill, and it's back to regular dirt over here. Yeah, I, I just got a cool token. Oh no, eighteen fifty-seven. New York token. Oh my God, gangs of New York era. New York. New York. Oh my New goodness. York. Holy cow! It's a New York token. What does that say? Bowery. Bowery. Number two thirty-five. Bowery. Eighteen fifty. It's like a Gangs of New York token. 1837 or 57. The Bowery Boys. Meh. Meh. Wow. That's awesome, That's dude. That's pretty epic. Well, that just made my day. Good job, Big Coil. I was criticizing you before. Wow. That is awesome, dude. I've never even seen that. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't know it existed either. Now you do. Now I do. Nice job, man. Fal Pounderoni. Thank you. The San Francisco tree. It says... Fal Fallon's new. We gotta look that up, Barrel. I've this is. This it. says cutting. Build the butcher. I love that movie. Build the butcher. Build the butcher. And it was Fallon. That was the. Uh, the protagonist. Oh. Okay. Very happy with this one. And it's got scissors. Wait, no, he was a butcher. Never mind. Okay, he was a butcher. I was thinking he was a barber. Okay. Go, go, go. That's awesome. You know, this is a good moment to go over something that's very confusing. The origin of the barber pole. Um, it's a symbol for bloodletting. I'm going to link you to a really, really interesting article. Basically, the red and the white on the barber pole represented the bandages that uh, people would walk out of a barber shop with from bloodletting. In history, there were people called doctors, but in terms of scientific method, in the scope of human history, th that's a new concept. It was believed in the early 1800s and before that if you were sick, one of the remedies that you could do is to bleed it out. In other words, get a cut, mm -hmm. one that would require stitching, mm -hmm. and drain your blood. Oh, dang. George Washington arguably died from bloodletting. Doctors were highly ineffective. I mean, they'd study stuff. And still be ineffective. They wouldn't study the scientific method. They'd study the wrong stuff. So you would go to a barber shop, the same place that you cut your hair. I mean, they have sharp tools, and they'd make an incision on you. And what the barber pole actually is, is what you would hold on to. Because if you're getting cut, you're going to want to hold on to something. It's the thing you hold on to while you're getting cut. That's what I'm trying to say. I believe we have something else. A lot of iron with it. But you hear how the non-ferrous takes over there? Well, I think that time I didn't want to believe that it was iron, but it was iron. Yeah, anytime it's a mid-tone in a park, it usually doesn't end well. But let's dig it. And it's young. Oh, snap. Nice. Jeff just got something good. Has Phil gotten one of these yet? I don't think so. No. Oh, snap. Three ringer. Good stuff, man. Found that. Oldie but goody. Yeah, man. Congrats. Thanks. That's my first, actually. Really? Yep. Congrats. Taking a chance here. Good chance it's iron, but let's see. 
Slow your roll. Actually, let's do this by what was advised. Let me get one of the numbers on the screen that's the higher ones. And that's localized. So, if this is correct, this is not iron. It's iron. I mean, it could be localized because it was small, but uh, it was iron. But there's something else here. This is the same hole. All right, I'm way down and there's no signs of it. Went down about 15 inches and uh, I widened the hole also. It was a big piece of iron. All right, I just pulled the quarter. I think we're at the point of the hunt where you get the idea of what I'm trying to test. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to show you a signal unless it's a really interesting one. So, let's see. Egad, we are on the wheat. Then again, I'm not here for wheat. Go, go, go. I'm telling you, this is the year of the buffalo nickel. Right after I got that uh, wheaty, I got a nickel signal right next to it. Let's uh, dig it, and we got a buffalo nickel. Deep one. Okay, again, teaching channel. Let's try that again with the pinpoint. I'd say that's localized. Let's go. Yeah, this was deep. Time to move. Jeff recommended switching to field mode. I'm doing that. I'm getting a mid-tone here. It's on five uh, tones instead of 50, which is throwing me off, but... It repeats. Let's dig. Okay, well, we got something old. This could be a spoon handle. I believe it was or is a spoon handle. Cool. Okay. Oh, look, we got some detail. There's some neat detail here. Very old. Nice. Good signal. Oh, very excited. Here's that troublemaker. All right, we got something clearly repeating. Let's dig. It's a broken off piece of copper. This is a toss up, but I'm leaning towards iron. I mean, we're gonna dig it no matter what, but. The thing is the iron is everywhere here. So it could be a good signal mixed in with the iron. Let's see if we could get a localized pinpoint. Okay, might have some good news. Got something down here, but what's more exciting, I'm not getting it now, but listen. Iron in here. Let's see what we got. Come on. Oh. <laughs> is this a heel plate? What is this? Got something. Got something. I saw the round edge. But this has spiky thingies in the bottom. Yeah, it's a mouse's toilet. Jeff, I'm sorry if I'm making you come over for this. <sighs> well, I think it's a mouse's toilet bowl. It's got spiky things on the back. Hmm. Any idea? Mouse's toilet bowl. Yeah, or a yeah, a training potty for a mouse. Yeah, they have a very, you know, civilized <laughs> society. Well planned out society. <laughs> yeah. And they trick us into thinking that we have The other thing about mouse history is there was no bloodletting. 
They don't even have barbers. Yeah, probably farm machinery part. Yep. Sweet mother of pearl. Those mice. Mm -hmm. Jeff found the foot of the mouse that sits on the toilet. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's got an iron foot. That's crazy. I was always told I had an iron foot. I could kick through anything. Oh, man. That's right. You're Mr. Kung Fu. And you could sit, you could attach that to the toilet seat. We could get some, uh, we could make some hipster art when we're done with this. I think so. What I'm thinking, my mind immediately went to the end of Enter the Dragon, where he just, he uses that metal. The claw hand? Yeah, this is the claw hand for the mouse who sits on the toilet. Before he fights the Kung Fu master at the end of the movie. Before he fights Kung Fu Bruce Lee. Never fight when you have a BM on deck. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are. What does that we're, always say? We're awesome. There's something very, very wrong with us. <laughs> That's why we're friends, what? buddy. Have a foot. Who finds that? I don't know. That's crazy. What did that ring up as? Eight, uh, 18 to 22. 18 to 22. And how deep? Way down. I have a very faint repeat. But let's dig it. And it's a crazy old piece of copper. How about that? I gotta clean it, but it's got some nice, it's like a dome. Whoa. I'd say that's a button. Yeah, or I was thinking maybe it's one of those things that's attached to the saddle, the little like half buttons that are right. decorative. I don't know. That's epic. I see the pattern on that. Yeah, I gotta clean that. Yeah, man. You need the smart people out there. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna take a chance. That's consistent of what I've pulled at the beach when there is something. A quick blip. I hear a ton of iron though. We just got an old bullet. I would say that this coil is struggling with iron. It just pulls everything in. So we're going, we're going to the woods. You're going to get good separation on your signals here, meaning that it's a distance from one to the next. I mean, unless we come into a trashy area. But, uh, yeah, we got lots of woods to walk. Now, this is a great signal. Uh-oh. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but that's really cool. What is this doing here? Wow. Okay, this might have been a part of it too. That just rang up right next to it. Here we are by a giant giant old tree I tell you I'm a city boy I, I I just love the woods I just don't see enough of that you know over my 43 years don't see enough of this this is really cool of course when the ticks come that that all ends good signal here repeating and deep oh I'm excited caliente rock what the heck, man? Bummer. Here we go again. Go, go, go. This was the troublemaker. Square nail. I still hear iron. Let's dig. And I don't know. I thought it was a uh, old bullet for a second, but no. There we go. Got a little uh, thimble. Nice. Solid 1314. Junk. Oh boy. Localized, go! 
what do we have? Oh, darn mice. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's broken too. Hmm. Oh, well. He did it! <laughs> okay, that means there's hope for me too. Oh, good stuff, buddy. Yeah. Good stuff. I just got to clean the front, but it looks like it's in good shape. So 1700s? Yeah. Uh, oh. Or up to 1807, I think, oh, was the drape. So, I don't know yet, but I know from the back that's a draped. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. What's going on back here? Uh, I got a thimble. That's about it. I don't Thimblism? know what... I don't know what it symbolizes. <laughs> symbolizes... Symbolizes hope. Indeed. Go, go, go. How deep was the drape? Uh, seven inches. Seven inches. Okay. Go, go, go. Beaver towel. All right. You see, I can't square anything with this thing. See how that went away? Hear all that iron? Jesus. Okay, let's go back to my car and let's put the standard coil on because this is getting annoying. Go, go, go. I don't like this coil. It's gotten me a lot of gold, but I don't like it. <laughs> At least in dirt. Beach, it's been doing fine. Oh. See, everything is so short. And in a site like this where you really need separation. Ah. I did find with the um, smart coil, but I lent it to Indiana Tones. So, sorry Lou, might have to ask for it back. Okay, now we have clarity. Three to four arrows down, 24, 25, 26. Clarity, go. Dimmy. Toss up. Now let's try the pinpoint. Not local. Let's dig. It's another hot rock. Or camp lead. Go, go, go. Go. Go, go, go. <sighs> Iron. Solid 17, 18, 19. Aye. Hot rock or camp lead? Well, what the heck is this? This is a gun part? It's like a lever. Interesting. Go, go, go. That's good. Go, go, go. Rivet, rivet, rivet. So frogs call them rivet. Hmm. It's not a meh, but I expected more. <laughs> Dig it. Okay, a little enthused. We got a buckle. Go, go, go. I think I found a hot spot. Go, go, go. It's a pipe. Go, go, go. It's old. It's old. Jeff got something. I don't know, I gotta clean it. Ooh. That's bigger than a nickel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's throwing me off. Maybe foreign? I don't know. I'll have to, I'm gonna let yeah. it dry. There you clean go. It. Good Let's stuff. On. I might have found a hot spot right over here. Well, that's where, yeah, you killed it over here last time. <laughs> Hope to do it again. Well, get it, brother. Hot spot indeed. Jeez, another pipe. 
Uh oh. Well, this is unique. I think it's a button. Interesting. <laughs> yep, it would, Jeff uh, read my mind and he set up his stuff. Look at, look at that. Good stuff. Man, you had a day. Look at how many coins you got. For seven hours, whatever. Okay, so can you, you're supplying the highlights today, so yeah, can you give us a tour? I got the vase for the bathroom for the mouse that yeah. sits in the toilet. Mice have very sophisticated societies. <laughs> yes. That's I have clear. One, I have the mouse's foot. The mouse's foot. Yep. We got a nice, uh, I guess this is Civil War era. Three yeah. ring bullet. Three ringer. Good stuff. Some reason uh, good old George was hanging out with everybody. Oh, hi, George. But he's made of silver, so we like 1943. We like silver, George. Yep. We got some buttons. Baton. I gotta clean them and I'll clean them and get pictures to you. But I didn't get any buttons today. And here's another button. Wow. And here's another button. Wow, that's a good button day. And uh, I'm gonna clean everything. I'll get pictures. I got um, the drape bust. That's clean epic. that. That's one of my favorite coins to pull. I've only pulled one. Uh, this is number two for me. That's so. epic. Good stuff. And mystery coin, which will be cleaned Ooh. and uh, pictures will be uploaded uh, with the video. Can't wait to see. All right, wow. sir. Fun day. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got to do my stuff. Mine's yeah, going to be short. And sweet. Yeah, but I like this one. The Gangs of New York coin. <laughs> I'm calling it that. That is awesome. So that, that's, that's epic. We got to do some uh, research on that bad boy. Yeah. Um, we got this, um, I guess, fork, knife, you know, fork and knife thingy. I wonder if it's silver. I don't know. Oh, well, that's the handle. It's all bent. Yeah. A any day that you start out with a butt... You know, it, it, I, I should have taken it. It's pewter. Yeah, I'm, I'm bending it by hand. Wow, they make it. They made it out of computers, even before <laughs> computers. And we got the mouse's toilet seat and um, whatever the hell this is. Both of them, I thought, were coins. Oh man! Oh, I found a mouse's this, toilet seat as this well. This is a trick. You found a you found a little mouse's toilet seat. <laughs> Mouse booty. Is this a trigger? What is that? Wow, that's not a trigger, but it could be, well, you know what this could be? What? This could be part of the hammer for a flintlock, maybe. Oh, snap. I'm not sure. Wow, that's cool. That is really cool, actually. Okay. Yeah, and I got a buckle and some clad. Oh, yeah, and I got the buffalo. Mm. Buffalo. Buffalo. All right, it was a day. Uh, beats staying home at any day. So that's pretty epic. Thanks, everybody. I will see you on the next one.